Hello, homeowners of Canada. I, as a nuclear engineer, am working very hard to make you new and improved nuclear technologies and bigger and better nuclear power plants. Now, I know that a lot of you do not have much time, so this video will be short and straight to the point. A big problem that I face is that many of you do not like the power I produce. Not because it's harmful to the environment, it's actually one of the greenest methods of energy, or it's low efficiency. Nuclear power is very efficient, but because of past nuclear disasters, most of which happened because of ignored safety measures, one of the most notable ones, Chernobyl and Fukushima Daiichi. First, let's talk about by far the most infamous one, Chernobyl. Chernobyl was a Russian nuclear power plant that had exploded due to a safety blunder that had exposed the reactor core which led to the explosion. After the fact, it was revealed that the power plant had many design flaws. This disaster generated a lot of fear in the 80s, and rightfully so, but it should be mentioned that the Russians did not do their due diligence when making the power plant. Chernobyl is sadly one of the first thoughts people conjure when I bring up nuclear power, but I am here to say that this could never happen in Canada. In Canada, we have very strict design and safety policies. Also, me and my team of engineers have made improvements to nuclear power that will make sure no disaster like this happens again. Some provisions me and my team have made are more safety regulations and more data collection requirements to prevent a further catastrophe. Next, let's talk about Fukushima Daiichi. On March 11th of 2011, there was a Great East earthquake named Tohoku which was a level 9 earthquake and the most powerful one that Japan had faced. It brought a tsunami with 10 meter high waves. All of this caused a nuclear catastrophe to take place at Fukushima. Not only did the earthquake and tsunami cause great loss of life, but the further disaster at the nuclear power plant was not the icing on the cake that the Japanese needed. After the earthquake, the tsunami came and flooded the cooling to the nuclear reactor causing it to explode, which resulted in the second national nuclear disaster to happen in Fukushima. After this, everywhere in the world had made massive improvements to the safety measures that could be felt in the nuclear power plant industry today. This happened by increasing water storage standards and improved water storage infrastructure. Homeowners of Canada, I am here to calm some of your concerns about nuclear power and make sure that you know that nuclear power is safe and also the most efficient method of power and more nuclear power plants will have great benefits not only to you and me through more power but also through the environment being saved. If you would like to know ways to support nuclear power, please do as little as show your support on social media or even writing a note to a local politician. Any and all support is welcome and you can trust me and my colleagues to make sure you are all safe. Thank you for listening.